Well, tonight we are remembering Roxy Bolton. She was a tireless champion for women's rights, civil rights, the oppressed, and the poor. The iconic activist died today at the age of 90. CBS 4's Gary Nelson looks back on her life. Even in her last years, Roxy Bolton overcame the ravages of a stroke to fight the good fight when she went to Gable City Hall to back the police chief. When development threatened this majestic oak, Bolton stood against the lumberjack. I heard you said that you would climb that tree before you would let anything happen to it. Is that true? If I could, I would. If you could, you would. Yes. Roxy Bolton fought the good fight beginning as a Red Cross volunteer. There she is with Eleanor Roosevelt, another champion of equal rights. Her husband, Navy Officer David Bolton, would become president of Men for the Equal Rights Amendment. When women marched for the ERA, Roxy led the way. She created the nation's first ever rape treatment center when rape and rape victims weren't talked about. Jeanette Slesnick, who Bolton encouraged to enter politics, remembers. She started the rape treatment center back in the 70s. Uh, at a time when men especially did not think we needed to have something like that. Bolton founded but was among the country's first shelters for abused women. She was the mover behind Miami's Women's Park that honors women of accomplishment, including Ileana ross Layton, who said today, I was blessed to know her for so many years, and she will be sorely missed. Bolton was celebrated at this event in 2011 on National Women's Equality Day, a day that Bolton persuaded Congress to create 46 years ago. There was a time when hurricanes were named only for women. Well, in 1979, Roxy Bolton persuaded the federal government to add men's names to the list. She was a whirlwind of unwavering compassion. Especially those that really were in need. The little guy, she loved helping them. And she leaves a proud legacy. I admired my mom and her abilities and her uh, fortitude. And she's somebody that... You know, you just never think that this day would come. Roxy O'Neill Bolton, born in 1926, is survived by three children and a lifetime of achievement. Great lady, she left quite a legacy. Roxy will be laid to rest Saturday in the old Miami Cemetery near the grave of another women's pioneer, Julia Tuttle, the founder of Miami.